Josh James back with another shaving video. How is everybody today? Yep, from the background, I'm still here in Oregon. Um, I am this close to heading out to Ireland though. I almost left tomorrow, but they made some progress today, so we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Could be another story. So either tomorrow I'll be on my way, or maybe, yeah, tomorrow after you guys watch this, I'll be on my way to Ireland or still here. We'll see how it goes. All right, before we get going, I've got a drink of the evening. You guys know I kind of try some strange stuff once in a while, but maybe this ain't so strange. So last night I really did not sleep very well. I woke up like at two in the morning and just couldn't go back to sleep. So I'm trying something tonight. This is Day Trip CBD infused sparkling water, cherry flavor, 10 milligram CBD. Hopefully it will uh, help me sleep a little bit tonight. Cheers. Yeah, it tastes good. I'm getting the no sugar stuff. They had a bunch of other drinks. They were just loaded with sugar. I just can't do that. No, it's kind of good. I can taste it a little bit. <laughs> All right, soap of the evening. So in my last video, I had you, or my two videos ago, I had you guys kind of vote on what you guys wanted me to shave with. Well, the last shave, Wickham's one by one vote. I was gonna go ahead and go with Barrister Man, but you know what? I opened up this bad boy and took a whiff and it just won me over. Sangre de Drago by Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. This is in their older PAA formula. So this is the one before this, the Crown King formula. Such a beautiful scent, man. Sandalwood and Oud. And uh, ah, dude, it's, just, it's just beautiful. I mean, this is, besides Parasso, this is probably my favorite, favorite sandalwood scent right now. It's it's just beautiful. Um, I had mentioned before that this is about 50%. About when it goes when it goes out or when I when I use it up, I'm definitely gonna replace this one for sure. Brush, I am just hooked on this brush. Going with the uh, the sterling again. And for the razor, I'm gonna give the gold dollar another try. Um, I made myself a paper strop, and I stropped it on the countertop. Slow, deliberate strokes, about 50 of them. And then what I did, I did about 25 on my forearm here. Just so I can, uh, so let's see. Just like this, very gently. See, no, no cuts. Very gently. Those of you in YouTube land, am I doing it right? That's what I did. All right, we're gonna give it a shot. If I if it doesn't work out, the trusty commissary will come to save the day. Okay, another sip. Really quick. Uh, I was gonna show you, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see the ingredients here. There you go, you can pause it. All right, let me get this blue water on my face and we shall get cracking. Yep. Great, great scent. Those of you who have been following me for a while know that I am a huge, huge fan of sandalwood but unfortunately a lot of the people that use synthetic sandalwoods i cannot use they, i just get irritated but knock on wood this one does not give me any irritation so it's so far the sandalwood soaps with no irritation parasso um um uh uh paas sangre de drago um my mind just went freaking blank. Is the CBD kicking in already? I don't know. I'll think about it. Shit, I can't remember. God dang it. Um, oh, uh, dang it. It's on the tip of my tongue. 
Chris Madden uses that brand, but he is he likes their uh, bay bay rum and orange. I think it is. Oh shoot, what is it? It'll come to me. My sister got that one for me. It, no irritation. Mine is a sandalwood and bay rum. That's the scent. That's a veg, vegetable vegetal based. So what the hell is it called? Ogallala. That's what it is. Ogallala. That's a pretty decent soap. It works pretty good, but but you have to really, really overload that one. Oh, I think that's probably plenty. That's okay. Yeah, that's good. Wow, look at this. This is... Oh, man. I'm going to be lathering for days. Son of a bitch. Wow, that's thick. I could probably just whip this up right here and shave off a bit. Son of a gun. <laughs> oh, man. I just press this off. Yeah, this is creamy, 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 creamy. I don't know if you guys can see this, but look at that. That is damn creamy. Right off the bat, I got a Paul H. Lather. Oh, good lord. I won't be upset if you guys fast forward this. This is going to be a while. Big dip. I'll just try to go quick if I can. Big dip. And just put a shit ton of water in there. Via Chris Madden method. Big dip. Get in there. Big dip. Almost. Big dip. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. Big dip. Big dip. I got this cup of water right here. Look at this. Dripping everywhere. And this soap, it actually, it doesn't taste disgusting like some other soaps do. So over the weekend I did a live shave in the uh, Facebook group, It's Just Shaving. Went with um, the common story, and I used um, Cold River Soap Works as a sample that uh, a subscriber here gave me. Reno, um, he's on Instagram as the Daily Daily Shaver. I've mentioned him quite a few times. He's a good. He's a good dude. Really cool guy. I love the pictures that he posts of his dog. He's got a golden retriever. Oh my gosh, beautiful dog. Happy looking dog too. But man, I was so surprised by that soap. It was um, Bergamot Bay. Nice scent, mild, on the mild side. But it was really, really nice. But the performance of that soap. I've since found that it's uh, the one that I use is a it's tallow. I wasn't sure I could remember if they had tallow or non tallow and all that stuff. Sometimes you don't know. And I didn't do any research before I used the soap. <laughs> I just knew, I just heard great stuff about it and, and I wasn't even sure if they were still in business, but they are, which is a good thing. So that's that's another soap that's on my short list to get. Too many. Okay, here we go. Like I said, I, I um, paper strop this you can look it up and you look it up on YouTube people do recommend that you can use newspaper to strop we'll see how it goes I can't see don't cut the sideburns too bad
probably not enough though. I do like a sharp edge though. I don't think helped a whole lot, so it probably has to go back to the stone. I probably did something to it. Because the first time that I used this blade, when I first started from Drew, it was great. It, it was smooth, comfortable, just cut right through the hair, kind of like what you would expect. I doubt my hair is, excuse me, <laughs> I doubt my hair is that coarse that it could fuck up an edge that fast. So I, I doubt that. It's something that I did wrong. I can't see. My phone's in the way. But yeah, it's kind of tuggy. clean off too so it's properly hydrated it's really really thick Not bad. We get first pass is always pretty easy, right? Let me rinse this off. Cold water. All right, so first pass isn't as close as usual, but it's okay. You guys ever watch, um, those of you who are in the straights, you watch GS6 Gun on YouTube? Dude is cool. No bullshit kind of kind of guy, I like him. Kind of like, you know, no bullshit like, um, actually, quite a few of the hunters out there, or the, the guys that, that um, hone raises on YouTube, a lot of them are really no bullshit. But he's funny, he talks about dispelling a bunch of myths and stuff, it's actually pretty interesting. But he's got a, a shave test video, and he's like, look, you should be able to go right against the grain on your first pass. I'm like, I don't know if I can, but... It's tuggy. Smells good though. I love this scent.
actually, now that I'm working on this area a little bit more, I think this dropping did help. I think it did help. It's a little bit better than my last shave with it, but... The edge really can be touched up. There's room for improvement, I think. Only compared to other edges that I've used. We'll see when I get to against the green here. I need to look up, I forgot to do it, but I, I need to look up, um, all right, uh, Adventures in Wet Shaving, Eric, Eric Lada, he's got a half pass that I need to practice with. I need to understand how he does it, and then I, I'm going to start trying it. So I guess it could help with some of my, like, against the grain areas and stuff. <clears throat> well, hopefully. Skin's a little bit dry. Okay, I'm gonna rinse off and then we'll go for the third and final pass. Cheeks are about what I expect. Wet shaving people make a mess. <laughs> My hands aren't dry. All right, all right, let's see how this goes against the grain. This is the worst part. So the extra stropping did help. That's the ultimate key right there, right? The ultimate test. Still got a little bit, I can feel it. A little bit of irritation there though. Shit. But I didn't have to go to the commissary. That's a that's a plus.
just not getting it. Almost done. Chain is a little bit rough. Sounds like wire cutters trying to cut fucking wire. <laughs> I think it's probably, it's okay. Against the green stuff, it's a little, little struggling, a little tough. So it's beyond stropping now, I think. It's gotta, gotta be taken back to the stone. I'm definitely putting this stuff back on. This is good stuff right here. Jeez, it's so thick. I mean, it, it really is like Greek yogurt. It's awesome. There we go, a little bit on the left. <laughs> Beautiful peaks. That little leaper right there. That's okay. I think it'll be gone and closed up after I wash all this soap off. Let's find out. All right. Rinsing off. Cold water. Good shave, actually. I really enjoyed that. Let me fix my hair a little bit. So, yes, stropping did help. Um, it was a little bit more comfortable against the grain down here. Still a little bit red, but not as red as the last shave. Got two leapers. Kind of expected it, though. I mean, I'm just, I'm just rough in my normal rough spots, so it's a very acceptable shave. But yeah, against the grain and, and on my chin is a little, that struggles a little bit, so. I think a quick little touch up would be great on the finishing stone. Well, that's my shave, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. I almost kept it under 30. All right. Razor of the evening. Gold dollar, 66. Honed by Drew over at Knife to the Face. Um, it was a great edge when he first gave it to me. I did something to it. I have no idea what. Whether it's my my fuzz or I just suck at stropping. That's probably what it is. I just suck at stropping. That's probably what happened to it. Anyways, brush, this sterling brush, uh, yep, that I wore on Instagram. And of course, oh, it's all wet. Good thing it's waterproof labels. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Sangra de Drago. This is a beautiful, beautiful sandalwood and oud scent. Fan freaking tastic. It's almost my absolute favorite sandalwood scent. I mean, Parasso is an art of shaving are right up there. But something about this one I like a little bit more. That's my shave, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week. If you don't see me soon, that means I'm on my way to Ireland. <laughs> if you see me again, I'll probably still be here. So I'll be shooting to have a shave maybe Friday. I'm not sure yet. Because it's only Tuesday. So we'll see. Maybe, maybe, maybe Friday. Thursday or Friday, okay? Take care, everybody. Have a fantastic day, and by the time you guys all see this, it'll probably be hump day. No texting driving. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.